I'm Charlie. I'm the co-producer for the show, <clears throat> for the show, uh, which is, the show is called Seniors Moment, where we're taking time out to, um, to interview seniors who we feel has been, um, made quite a bit of contribution to, to our community. And we want to take this period of time to sort of honor them. And so we call this Seniors Moment, not to be confused with Senior Moment, where people get all confused. <laughs> anyway, I, um, I'm here with uh, co-producer Mayo and then Francisco. So Francisco, could you t tell us a little bit about your background? You know, how, sure. you, how you came to the library? How you got so smart. <laughs> I've been working in libraries, in public libraries, for almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we first started, uh, the internet was fairly new. People were coming into the library to use the internet a lot. Mm -hmm. And where were you at that time? I, I was in Arizona, okay. in Phoenix. Okay. And then I've, I've, I've worked in many libraries, and you know, the latest one here in Los Gatos, which it's lovely. I, I yeah. love that library. The architecture is, is just beautiful. If you haven't been, I think it's, it's, a, it's a one of the, the jewels of Los Gatos, yeah. Yeah, but we have been getting a lot of questions from, from adults and seniors in general about how to use our collection, mm -hmm. our electronic collection too. Which is absolutely wonderful, Francesca, because we're at a loss. We didn't grow up with that. And I've had a computer for years and years. Now I am 93. <laughs> and what I knew is comes and goes. And every time I go to your library, I, I'm almost ashamed. But that's just uh, the way we work. And sometimes our children understand. And so you're from heaven. Yeah, we, we get some of the same questions over and over okay. and, and they have to deal with updates because you will have like you said your computer for a long time and all of a sudden the same program looks a tiny little bit different because there was an update the night before or something like that right well I think one of the the most uh, heartwarming thing that one day I came into the library ready to jump out the window and uh, Robert one of your librarians said to me Mayo it's not your fault. <sighs> yeah. So he, you know, gathered me up and fixed my computer, you know, do something with this thing. <laughs> That's wonderful. Now, can you give us some of the things that you've gathered to, to tell us about? Yeah, so I brought with me some things. Um, Mainly, uh, one of the services we have now that's new because of after that pandemic is that we no longer have the computer units that we used to have. Oh. We now use laptops. Okay. So you can sit anywhere in the library that you'd like. So there's more space between you and other people. Um, you know, they, our staff wears Good masks to, to protect everybody, um, mm -hmm. but you can also protect yourself by sitting farther away. You can take the laptops outside as well. Um, oh. The whole lawn in front of the library has the Wi-Fi, 5G Wi-Fi, which is pretty good speed. I didn't know that. And you can do your work from there on a nice day. If it's hot, you come inside, right? Oh. And you can also uh, send your print jobs. So you need to print your boarding pass, or you need to print you know, a bill because you're, you're having a dispute or something. And you can do that all uh, wirelessly in the library, and we'll assist you through every step. Um, Did you know that, Charlie? Yes. Well, Wonderful. Another service that we've seen a lot of use lately is uh, hotspots. So we will check out just like a book or a magazine. We'll check you out a, a Wi-Fi hotspot, mm -hmm. which unlimited data, and you can take it home for 21 days. Oh, I no cost. Um, it renews automatically if nobody's waiting for it. Right now, actually, every single one of them is out and being used. A lot of people use it on their trips. So they're on the car in the car and they you know, they have their grandchildren in the back watching maybe a movie on their iPad while they're traveling, or maybe they're using it in the hotel so that they can, you know, access data or access shows. And, and it's, it's something that's very popular. Amazing. Okay, let me ask you this. Uh, I'm not real technical, even though uh, I have an engineer. He's an degree, engineer, so but, he's uh, technical. 
the hotspot, is that a, a gadget that you um, could get Wi-Fi? Right. So, yeah. It, it's Do like, you have to be located in any place special? So the, the hotspot that we have work through the carrier, the cell phone carrier. So it's just like having a cell phone. So ours is through T-Mobile. So it works anywhere in the U.S. You can take it uh, on the road. And so for some people who maybe have a, 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 a plan where they only use one gigabyte of, of data, they can just use the Wi-Fi so they don't go over their, their plans. Limits. Limits. Or, or maybe you're in a location where there is no Wi-Fi uh, and, and it has better reception with this Wi-Fi hotspot. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. So you can make phone calls. Yeah. You can... And people don't know that. Uh, my son moved to uh, Wisconsin, bo bought a beautiful house, they fixed it all up, and found out they didn't have <laughs> the Wi-Fi. And, of course, he's going crazy. You know? yeah. <laughs> okay, are now there the, other things? Or? Now, how do you get a, a hotspot? Do you come and check it out from the library? Yeah, it's, it's actually like a physical book. It has a barcode. It comes in a little case with a charger. And you check it out with us at the, at the circulation desk, or um, you can also put a hold, a reserve for it. Um, and, and we email you when it's ready for pickup, which usually takes one day or two. Can you renew it? Yes. Yeah, so um, our new policy for everything, this is for books, magazines, DVDs, everything checks out for 21 days, and it automatically renews twice. Oh, my God. Yeah, so that is right. almost 63 days. So you almost own it. <laughs> almost. <laughs> but we made it this way because uh, people during the pandemic, they were taking things home and yeah. taking it a little bit longer. And mm -hmm. we didn't want people to worry about fees. Our library is fine free. Wow. So as long as you return things, you will not be charged a single penny. Oh, that's good to that's know. That's great to yeah. know. Yeah. And what else? What else uh, would you pick out for seniors? So we have several classes. Um, ones that I wrote down that are coming up is sound healing. Um, mm. So it, yeah, it's kind of um, along those lines with yoga and meditation. We also have basic meditation. That's going to be another class that we're having. Wonderful. Uh, we have an adult maker Monday where you come in and you, we help you 3D print or laser cut. And some things are high tech and some things are low tech so we're doing knitting we're doing um, button making we're doing uh, jewelry making um, and there's another class where it, we're talking about family history oh and, i love that yeah, yeah. and um and then there was one one last one that is coming up that i think is it's an introduction to chinese calligraphy Oh, nothing is as beautiful as calligraphy from China. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie does it and beautifully, oh, okay. yes. Yeah. Studied in school. <laughs> so we tend to have programs that are, are art-based too. Mm -hmm. Lots of art and painting and, and crafts. And we also have, we had one a um, couple months ago where it was fall prevention as well. Okay. And that one was targeted strictly to seniors. And all these programs I just mentioned are registration-based. So you can call the library at 408-354-6891 uh, okay. and make a reservation or a register for you. Both of you can register, for example. I see. Yeah. Can you repeat that number again? Absolutely. So yeah. 408-354-6891. Thank you. Yeah. Wonderful. I mean, these are things that I don't think we would ever find out unless we'd come here. <laughs> yeah, we, we have flyers. We have it on Instagram and the, the social media mm -hmm. platforms. But, yes, if, if you call us, we can also say, okay, let's see. We're going to read you down all the adult programs for this month or, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yes, please call us, That's email great. us, coming in person. Wonderful. We're happy to, to assist any way we can. Oh, well, I think I'll... Somebody said, just throw it out the window, and I said, I think not. <laughs> Francisco, thank you very much, thank because you. I said, I, I bug you a lot, but I think a lot of people are too kind of ashamed to do that, so thank you. Yeah, and, and there, like, we, like teachers say, there's no dumb question. Just come in, and we'll help you out. Wonderful. If it takes 
five minutes or if it takes a half an hour, we're happy to help. Well, you proved that with me <laughs> many times. Well, we want to thank you for coming today and educate us on the services that the Los Gatos Library has. And um, thank you. Again. You're welcome, Charlie. Yeah. You're welcome, man. Yeah. Don't go away. <laughs> thank you for being with us at the producers' meeting. Thank you. <laughs>